The economy is one of the primary election issues and the small parties, uh, political parties, have some big ideas about what they do to fix it. So what are their economic policies and what concessions might they want from a major party after Saturday's vote? With us now is Alex Tarrant, political reporter for interest.co.nz. Good morning to you, Good Alex. Good morning. Well, I guess the name on everybody's lips is Winston Peters. So what is in his <laughs> economic plan? Well, they've got a 170-point page manifesto and they've got uh, 10 of those pages devoted to economic policies and basically is a lot of big spending policies. He wants to put GST back down. He, want, like Labor, he wants to get the first $5,000 of income uh, tax-free, $5,200 uh, for Winston, he wants to peg the New Zealand dollar, so he's going to have to probably find some money there to be able to intervene in the exchange rate markets. And he wants to buy back a whole lot of state-owned enterprises that we sold off in the 80s and 90s. He wants to direct the super fund to sort of, to sort of do that. So a, a lot of big spending promises from, from Mr Peters. What's his plan on how to pay for those promises then? Well, he's not really putting one up. He's saying they're cost-neutral somehow. And Take uh, his, his policy on student loans, for example, he wants to write off half of student debt. So we've got $12 billion worth of student debt. He says if, if someone stays in the country, then we'll pay them dollar for dollar, wipe off $6 billion. And he says that'll be cost neutral because they'll stay in the country, pay tax, and that will, that will pay for, for writing off the $6 billion. But the, the problem is there, if people stay in the country, perhaps we won't get as many migrants in. So. Um, there might be the same amount of workers in the workforce as there would be, so the tax take wouldn't be higher. And I, I guess he's in a position where he doesn't need to cost them, really, does he? Because he's Winston Peters. <laughs> Is he finding uh, other political parties that are singing from the same song sheet? Are there others that back some of those policies? Well, they, they all sort of agree on one thing. All these parties on the left, at least, is they want a $15 minimum wage. So that's what Labor's calling for. So the Greens... New Zealand First, the Mana Party, the Māori Party actually want a $16 minimum wage. And so if you have a sort of grand coalition on the left on November 27, then you will see this minimum wage go up. You'll see the first $5,000 income free. Um, there, there are a few things that they agree on. I mean, New Zealand First kind of agrees with National and Labour on compulsory savings, which has been Winston's big thing, Mr Peters's big thing. Uh, for decades. There is some dispute on the left though, isn't there, about the age of entitlement for superannuation. Labour wants to put it up mm. gradually to 67, but uh, the likes of the Māori Party thinks maybe uh, different ages for different ethnicities. Yeah, and they say, which is a valid point, that, that Māori people aren't living as long as Pākehā people, so you, you can't go on raising the age for everyone and saying everyone's the same. And, and the Green Party as well as the Māori Party, aren't really in favour of this. I mean, it's not going to make a difference this election, really, is it? Because they're going to start raising the age in 2022 or 2020. Um, but the principle there is, yeah, they say Māori people and, and people working sort of laborious jobs are, are too, too old, effectively, at, at 67 to keep on working those jobs. What about some of the other hot election topics, uh, like uh, capital gains tax? Where do some of the other parties stand on that? So the Greens have had a capital gains tax policy since 2003, and so it's nothing new there, but it's slightly different to what Labor's saying. Labor's saying they want a 15% capital gains tax rate, flat tax rate for everyone. The Greens say they want a, a fairer system than that. They want people to pay at their marginal tax rates, which are would seem valid as well. If you, if you have income at, at a certain level for, for a wage, you should have it um, on, on your capital gain. So there's a slight difference there. Uh, the Māori Party aren't exactly too in favour of a capital gains tax, so, but I mean, it's, they're not going to be demanding Labor drop it. But a Labor-Greens coalition would, would definitely see that tax in place. As I mentioned, the economy is one of the hot topics of the election. Have the minor parties further developed their economic policies any differently or any further than they have in previous elections, do you think? Well, New Zealand First probably no. They've, they've, they've got a long-standing list of policies. And the Green Party pretty much have a long-standing list of policies as well. I mean, maybe some tweaks around ETS or, or irrigation costs. Man has come out with a call for a financial transactions tax, but they haven't really, they haven't done the maths at all. They, they say it's a good idea, 
and they're not the ones that should be doing the maths. They're, they're a very minor party. The, Ma the Māori Party uh, wants a financial transactions tax as well, and the Green Party has said, uh, well, we'll do it too, as long as everyone in the rest of the world does it. So they're coming up with policies. They're not exactly costing them. So, but their ideas nonetheless. You know, it's Treasury's <laughs> job after the election. Thank okay. you, Alex. That is Thanks, Alex Tarrant from interest.co.nz.